Hello Vigo, welcome to the Science Hub. I'm Joshua Kintai with my fellow colleague here. I, Emmanuel Kimwen. And we're going to take you through volume and most specifically the volume of a cone and the volume of a prism. First, what is a volume? Volume, uh, in volume is the amount of space occupied by matter. Oh. We are going to start uh, about the volume of a rectangular prism. Here is a rectangular prism. This one represents the length, this one represents the height, and this one represents the width. When finding the volume of a rectangular prism, we use the formula length times width times height. Let's take for example, we have the length to be 20, we have the width to be 10 centimeters, and the height to be 5 centimeters. Now, the volume is going to be 20 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters. So it's going to be 20 multiplied by 10. You get 200. Yes. Then 200 multiplied by 5. You get 1000 centimeters. Another prism is a square prism. A square prism. In a square prism, all sides are equal. Therefore, when finding the volume of a square prism, we use the formula S times S times S, or we simply say S cube. When finding the volume of a square, we use the formula side times side times side, or we simply say side cube. Let's say for example, here is 10 centimeters. Meaning that if here is 10 centimeters, even the length and the height is 10 centimeters. So we, here also we have 10 centimeters, here also we have 10 centimeters. And therefore, the volume of a square is going to be 10 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. This is going to give us 1000 centimeters cube. Okay, up to that point, now I'm going to take you through the volume of a cone. When you are being told to find the volume of a cone, being given the radius, let's take for example, being given it as 3 and the perpendicular length and the length of the cone being, being 5, then here what you need to do is first you need to identify the, the formula that you need to use for us to find the volume of this cone. First of all, to find the, the volume of a cone, you use this for the formula, a third pi r squared height. So, in this particular case, we are going to use the height but not the length. So, we are not being given the length and how do we find the height? Since we don't have it, yet we have the, the radius and the length. So, we need to find the height. We, given that this is, uh, it's, it is perpendicular, the, the radius perpendicular to the height, so we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. Given this is 5 and this is 3, using the Pythagoras theory, 5 squared is the same as, let's say this is h, 
the same as x square plus 3 square and you find the square root you find the square root so this 5 square what do you first of all 5 square 5 times 5 is 25 5 times 5 is 25 is 25 then 25 meaning that the square root uh, 25 is the same as this height square so yes not the square root so it is i square 25 is the same as i square x square plus 3 square so 25 is the same as x square plus the square root of 3 is 9 so take take a the other side it will be 25 minus 9 is equals to h square and 29 minus 25 minus 9 16. is 16 is equals to h square just finding the square root in order to find the the radius the square root of 16 and the square root of h the square root of h is the same h square h square is the same is equals to h times h and finding the square root is just spotting one of them let's check so we take finding the square root of this number, we just take h. So in this particular case, h, the square root of h is h. h is equal to the square root of 16, which is 4. four. So we've, we've gotten the height of this cone, it is 4. So when finding the volume of this cone, we need to use this height that we've just gotten as 4 to find the, the volume. And we say that the volume is a third by a squared height. So we've now gotten the height as four. Let's say our dimensions are in centimeters. So five centimeter here and four centimeter here. Using this formula, a third by r squared height, you're going to find the volume of the cone. So the volume of the cone is a third pi pi, which is 22 over seven. Let's take this particular case will be 22 over 7 times the radius. The radius is 3. 3 squared times height as 4. So, by 3 here, no, first let's make this one to be just in each, in another term, just to be 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 3 times 3 times 4. This just to make work easier. So, by 3 cancels. So, it is 22 times 3 times 4. 22 times 3 is 66. 66 multiplied by 4, so 66 multiplied by 4 divided by 7. Then, if you do this, you're going to get the answer of this, the volume of this cone in centimeter cube. Remember this, you need to put your answer to be in centimeter cube. And just to give you a simple homework, what if you're being told to check this dimension? as no let's say this dimension let me just change it to be let's say six six centimeter and this to be six centimeter i'm just going to use the same formula and find it and if not given this radius and you're being given the diameter as h you know how to find it the radius the diameter is just the same as two radius so you're going to make use of this particular formula get the radius, the height, and you do that volume. And you're going to find the volume using this formula, a third pi r squared height. Up to that particular point, we hope that you learned something from us and keep tuned to Elimu TV where you watch and learn. Thank you.